Yes, lads, Merry Christmas and welcome back to another tactics video on the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at the 4222, which seems to be a fan favourite at the moment, so let's get into it. So kicking off with the defensive style, we leave this on balanced again, like every other formation that you would have seen on the channel. We leave this on balance for the most part, but if you're losing a game or if you're struggling to get back into it, you can always up this onto press after possession loss or constant pressure. I wouldn't really recommend starting on constant pressure or press after possession loss, even though a lot of people do. It will destroy your stamina if you can't make the person leave or you can't blow them away in the first half. Just something to bear in mind. So we leave that on balanced. The defensive width, we knock this down to 45. We're looking to clog up the middle of the pitch. Again, you, you are going to have um, cut players covering wide for you, um, as you'll see in the instructions. So the 45 is perfect, but 50 it works also. But I've just found 45 to be the best. The offensive depth, we, we have previously gone for something like 70 before the patch on this formation. However, due to the chip through ball meta and the through ball meta that we're seeing at the moment um we've knocked this down to 60 you can go as low as 55 which i found quite nice as well um so anywhere between 55 and 60 is perfect i run 60 as i, I like a little bit of you know press a bit higher but um 55 is fine if you're struggling to defend the build up play um uh, we leave this on balance like all my other custom tactics um not a massive fan of long ball i tried long ball a few times this week and it is good it is good um but balanced in my opinion reigns supreme um the chance creation as always is direct passing uh, i tried a little bit of forward war runs which was nice i think i'm just used to the direct passing now how it pushes the defensive line back so i think if you take one thing from this video is if you've not already try out direct passing it is very very nice and then the offensive went previously we would have gone for something like a 60 um but i'm finding i'm having a bit more success with 50 because it's a um a four triple two the lamb and the ram create quite a bit of width for you anyways so 50 isn't too narrow if you want to create some more width you could always send the full backs forward or have a full back go forward and then um toggle hug sidelines and that will create you some more width if you, if you are lacking. But I found that this is enough. Players in the box, we whack up to six. Um, six or seven is nice, but I found six is the perfect balance. And then corners and free kicks. I always whack this down to one and one because you can control the players that you want to use off the corners and the set pieces anyways. So having this any higher just exposes you to counterattacks, which isn't too fun. So we leave that on one on one. Getting into the instructions, um, both strikers will be stay central and get in behind. Um, this is very useful, especially if your strikers are like Alawiron or Mbappe, like most people are at the moment. Um, so you really want to have some pace up front at the moment, especially with the existing meta of the through balls. You do need a little bit of pace. On the one striker, though, I have come back on defense. And the reason for this is not I'm not, not trying to clog up the midfield, but that, that gap in between your CDM, your strikers, and between your two cams can be a bit of an issue in chance creation. There's a bit of a gap in the midfield. Um, so when Neymar drops in, he kind of fills that gap, um, which I found is really, really nice in terms of just getting the ball going like giving the spraying the ball from modric to neymar who then can set up mbappe finding neymar is getting a lot more space in the midfield now i've got him on comeback so he's starting in a deeper position for me um the lamb and the ram both come back on defense both get into the box for crosses definitely 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 toggle both these on as it's very important the comeback on defense will help support in the wide areas when you're when the opposition are attacking, especially if they overload with fullbacks. You have that extra man to help support, um, and then get into the box. You're going to have them supporting out Neymar and Alawiran and striker, so you've got those options. Do recommend that you use a right footer on the right and a left footer on the left, so you can do the travellers, the time travellers, 
or just the normal hitting the ball across the goal. Um, and again, for the strikers, having a left foot on the left-hand side and then, some, well, Neymar's five-star, but um, having a right foot on the right-hand side is very useful and just shooting to the far corner. Um, just a little nugget of feel where you're there. Um, the two CDMs, um, the first one, it doesn't matter which one's which, I have Vieira, who's my out-and-out -out CDM, stay back while attacking and cover centre. And then my more creative midfielder will be cover centre only and then balance on the attacking support. So he'll get, he'll get up the pitch and help out with the attack. If you're not too comfortable with defending with one CDM sometimes, you could always get someone in this defensive instead of your creative midfielder, maybe like a box-to-box, -box, like a Gwen Doozy who can do a bit of everything and then just have him stay back while attacking and cover centre is like Vieira and then just manually move him forward but if you are comfortable with defending with one cdm at times um, i do recommend giving this a go because it does give you an extra man in midfield and especially when you've got someone as good at the long shots like modric or outside the foot as well it's very very useful and it adds a, like a level of unpredictability to your attack the two center backs stay back while attacking and that is it you don't change anything on these if you do you, you i mean god help you um oh no um, our goalkeeper comes for crosses and sweeper keeper very little changes makes probably very little difference but if it makes one percent of difference is worth making the change it just means he'll come a bit more naturally for crosses and um defend the through balls a bit better when it's closer to his box the fullbacks then i have on overlap and stay back while attacking this goes for both again if you want your fullbacks to attack, you can toggle it on the D-pad up and left and they'll join the attack. And instead of leaving them unbalanced, you'd have to go into the menus to make them stay back if you're in a comfortable position or you want to reduce the numbers you got front. With the D-pad, you're giving yourself a bit more control over when they go forward, when they stay back. So I definitely recommend that's something you implement if you've not already. The 4 triple 2 is very, very, very balanced and it'll help you clutch out a couple of wins. It's got the perfect amount of defenders. It's got plenty going forward. But I do recommend having a couple of extra custom tactics in your arsenal that you are familiar with just in case this doesn't work and you need to adapt to your opponent. Punch, click, bite the link here for another tactics video. Cheers!